Our topic today is premarital sex. Do you think it's right or wrong? Should a boy and a girl who are not yet married have sex before marriage? Well, um, I think so and I don't think so. Okay. Explain. Did you have sex before you got married? No. And do you have any regrets as to not having sex before marriage? No, 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 no. no. Premarital sex is sexual intercourse carried out by people who are not yet married. Historically, premarital sex was considered a moral issue, which was a taboo in many cultures and considered a sin by a number of religions. However, since the era of sexual revolution, it has become more widely accepted and generally practiced. Now, as a Christian, I wonder, is premarital sex right? Should it be practiced? Should it become the norm? Is the Bible becoming outdated and archaic in light of today's cultural view about premarital sex? Our topic today is the morality of premarital sex. Join me as we go into the streets of worry to find out what people think about premarital sex. I'm your host, Lily Flowers, and this is BS Purity TV. Do you think premarital sex is wrong? No, I don't think so. Why? Uh, many reasons. Okay, so what are the reasons? Personally, I think it's, it makes a lot of sense to check a commodity before you purchase it. Check that's a commodity? What, yeah. And then, secondly, that's biblically speaking. The Bible supports the idea of having sex before marriage. Wow. Yeah, wow. I was expecting that. Okay. I'm sure you want me to verify, right? Yes, please. Good. Uh, I think it's in the Exodus... Um, Exodus chapter 22 from verse 14 upwards, 14, 15 upwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't quote it verbatim, but it's what that passage implies is that if I have sex with a girl I intend to marry before marriage and I end up marrying her, I have done no wrong. Yeah, I wish it was the Bible where you could confirm it yourself. Okay. Are you married? Um, yeah, I am. And you had sex before marriage? Uh, interestingly, I didn't have sex before marriage. Why? Because uh, it was an arranged marriage. Um, of course, to make it, it's possible, possible, so they know each other very, very well. Do you think it's right for them to have sex before marriage? I say it's possible, it's right. It's right. Why do you say it's right? Um, that, that can bring them together. Maybe after marriage, the ladies cannot perform very, very well, or the man cannot perform very, very well. That can bring divorce. But if they know each other very, very well, that they are, they are, two of them is okay. It's procedure. Uh, okay, Daddy, are you a Christian? I'm a Christian. Do you think the Bible accepts a boy and a girl to have sex before marriage? Um... Uh, I cannot, I'm not a pastor, neither a reverend, who can now give the correct answer for that. Eh? Okay, so, but you, are mar you have been married for years, I presume? Yes, I'm married for years. Did you have sex with your wife before marriage? Perfectly. I got what I wanted from, from her, then I went ahead and married her. After one issue, then I, I went to see the parents. Yes, uh, the, the truth of the matter is not really ideal for them to have sex before marriage. You understand? But it do happen some other time. You know, in a kind of like the robots, it do happen. You see, but like in the church, it doesn't happen that way. The Bible said that you should do the file, you know, the bed before marrying. You see, but it happened that I'm in the marriage committee, yes, quite all right, but I will keep that side off. But the truth of the matter, in Roboland, it do happen. So, Daddy, what would be your advice to youths today? Yeah, you see, the youth today, the youth is very complex. For the youth today, they are supposed to follow the due process. Meet your mama, meet your papa, I want to marry this one, meet with her, they work out, 
Now so it's supposed to be. But these days, leave that matter out. You know, they happen like that. So my advice for the youth today, may they follow the normal way. You see, if you define, get fine up to the root. There's a way in the fine uh, uh, eye of fish, you go to the to the head. That's what it be. No. Why? Bible is against it. It's fornication. It's against Bible. Wow. Are you married? I'm married. Did you have sex before marriage? Yes, I did. But I know it's against the will of God. So what would be your advice to a young boy and a young girl in the streets today that are planning to get married? But then maybe the boy is pressuring the girl for sex before marriage or the other way around. What would be your advice to them? Well, in our time today, if a girl or a boy don't have sex, I, I don't think the marriage will go. They're supposed to know each other. But I know it's against the Bible, it's fornication. We don't supposed to do it. But the way life it is today, if you don't understand the man, the man they don't, they don't, didn't understand the girl, maybe in future the marriage will know who. But are you saying that it's only through sex that a man and a woman will understand themselves before marriage? It's only that way, because without sex, no marriage. Wow. Without sex, no marriage. It may be the man cannot perform well. Already the girl is in the marriage. There's nothing they can do. They cannot divorce. They cannot do anything. It just hook the boy, the girl hook, the boy hook. Then two don't know each other before the marriage. But if you go inside the girl, the girl know the man can perform well. The, uh, uh, the man know yes, the girl can perform well. Then the marriage will be so sweet. So you're advising our boys and girls now that it's okay to have sex before marriage. Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm not saying that. Because if I say that, it's against the will of God. So what are you saying? Sure. Well, I don't know. i confused from that. <laughs> they can have sex before marriage, but they will go and confirm their sin. After marriage, you, you ask for, for forgiveness. What are the dangers involved in having sex before marriage? Well, if you don't know that the boy will not marry you, don't sex because pregnancy can come. Another thing, HIV AIDS. Before you go inside sex, make sure your partner, two of you go blood tests to know whether the boy is free or the girl is free. Don't just jump into sex. And another thing for boys and girls, if you know that the boy have sex with you, later will deny you. Don't go inside. Because many men today is just to useless the girl and dump the girl. That is only what I want to say for that. It's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because normally you're not supposed to have sex with a girl before marriage. Because, because if you are going to alter, a girl normally put on white, and white signifies purity. So if the girl put on, if you have sex with the girl before marriage, it's wrong. It's seriously wrong. Are you in a relationship? No. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. No, no. Why? Mm. It's not right. It's not right. It's not just right. Why is it not right? Because you're not yet married. What do you think? I'll go to reason. Um, it's not right it's because a it's, a, it's a sin because a sin. the Bible says that they should not defy the bed before marriage. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. What about you? No, no. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, to me, uh, what I see there is that uh, the uh, marital says uh, that, that is not the priority there, you understand? Because if you reason that stuff, you won't get the particular person that you are looking for. I think that is not your goal. Even in Bible terms, we have a different explanation, that is a different example there. We have the one of uh, Jacob when he sat for a very long time, could not get that particular person. His goal to pursue that woman is not ab all about the, the sex, you understand? But depend on the person that you want to deal with, that to, the person that you want to stay with. So, in looking at it, uh, sex is not the priority first. So, me, sex is not the priority because you will get, when you get into the house, you will get tired and boring about all this sex, 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 sex. The thing that you will think about, uh, if you want to think about marriage, the only thing that you will think about, uh, this person, this my partner, uh, is somebody that will assist me in terms of 
creating uh, that in terms of to develop you, your capacity building, how you can create goals. So if we are looking at it in that uh, sex is not the first priority. Are you married? Right now, me, I'm not married, but I think I'm... You are in a relationship? Uh, in, in a relationship. Have you had sex with the girl? Uh, right now, no, for me, at least, let me say yes. Do you think it's right to have sex when you are not married? Uh, one, one thing yeah, is, uh, though I'm, I'm somewhat confused, but it must come. If it, not, it does not come from the guy, you understand, it will come from the girl. Okay. Are there dangers involved in having sex before marriage? Uh, yes, there are very lot of dangers involved before marriage because one of the dangers is that if you look, there are some uh, virus, bacteria, all those type of things that someone can contact during a sexual intercourse, whether protected or not protected, somehow you must surely contact uh, this stuff. Okay. Do you have a younger brother or a younger sister? Yes. Sorry. Would you advise your younger sister to have sex with her boyfriend before they are married? Before they are married. No, uh, right, uh, I will not I will not advise. I will not advise Asha. Well, I think it's um, down to religion. Like for Christians, for example, I don't think it's right for Christians to have um, sex before marriage. Well, most other religions, they might agree, they might agree for, for you to have sex before marriage because but for Christians, I, th I don't think it's allowed. The Bible is against it. What well, I think the right thing to be done is to abstain from premarital sex because your, your body is the temple of God, so you should keep it clean for God, and that's the right thing to do. Are you in a relationship? Um, yes. Have you had sex with your girlfriend? No. no. What do you think are some of the dangers that one could face when you have sex before marriage? Pregnancy, unwanted pregnancy, trans, uh, transmission of diseases, and um, well. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think about premarital sex? Should a boy and a girl have sex before marriage? No. Why? Because according to the Bible, marriage is meant for only couples, those that are married. Sex is meant for only those that are married. Totally wrong. It's not based on what we say, based on what the Word of God says, that premarital sex is wrong. Like, uh, if I should use the words of, uh, I'm a Catholic, so I will use the words of Mother Teresa, or called Saint Teresa of Calcutta. He said there's nothing wrong for a young boy to fall in love with a young girl. Say, but keep that love virgin. Keep your heart virgin. Keep your soul virgin. So that on the day of your marriage, you will have something beautiful to present to your wife or to your husband. And that's what true love is all about. So, sir, are you married? Yes. Did you have sex with your wife before marriage? I will not deny I did. I will not say I didn't. I did, but it doesn't make it to be right. So, what would be your advice to young boys and girls today who are planning to get married but are facing sexual pressures? Yes, I will advise them because even my mind doing it once immediately. Both of us knew that what we did was wrong and we stayed away. We had to stay away and we enjoyed it that way. Staying away and waiting till after our wedding and it was, it was nice. It was nice. So what I would advise is that uh, you flee away from temptation of sin. You can, your relation, relationship is, you can spice it with your communication, you can spice it with so many things. It doesn't, it's not necessary that you must spice it with sex. Sex is not the ultimate. Sex is a beautiful thing, but it's for married couples. Thank you very much, sir. Well, um, I think so and I don't think so. Okay. Explain. Why I think so is that maybe if that was to make the guy to be more serious, the girl can do it. and. And I would just advise all the girls not to do it because it makes them useless in front of them. Are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. Have you had sex with your partner? Ah, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so, what would be your advice to that girl that is facing pressure right now in a relationship? She wants to get married, but the boy is saying 
if we don't have sex, this marriage is not going to hold. What would you advise her to do? I would advise the girl not to. And lost the guy? Yeah. Because uh. I think the guy is up to something. That's okay. why he's just like, let's do it, let's do it before marriage. Thank you very much. So, please, what's your view on premarital sex? Should a boy and a girl who are not married have sex before marriage? To me, there is nothing wrong with it. You know, as a matter of fact, it is good for you to have sex before marriage. You know, a lot of failed marriage today in our society failed as a result of not having sex before marriage. For instance, there are some women that cannot do without sex. You know, and uh, as, because they do not have this premarital sex before marriage, they, they do not know if the man is somebody that will be able to satisfy them in bed before getting married to the man and they get married to the man as a result the the, the marriage fails because the reverse becomes the case so are you a christian i'm a christian what does the bible say about premarital sex i say um some religion condemns uh, premarital sex yes it, it, uh, theologically it, it is not good to have sex before marriage but my personal opinion i think it is the best thing to do you know, sex before marriage, so that as to have a successful marriage. And like I said before, I'm repeating it again. Some women, they like having sex. But if, no, that is not, I'm not trying to spite the woman. You understand? Know, this is fact. You know, but if you do not have sex before marriage, how do you not know if the man you're getting married to will be able to satisfy you in marriage? So as a result, a lot of, a lot of marriages now our site, they failed because of that. You know, so that's why you find you see some women going outside marriage to satisfy themselves because the man they got married to could not satisfy them. And if they had had sex before marriage, then the woman should be able to know if really this man will satisfy me in bed or not. Um, would you advise your daughter to have sex before marriage? There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you very much, sir. Sir. The question today is, is premarital sex right? Should a boy and a girl who are not married have sex before marriage? No. It's not good. Why, sir? Because if you look at it proper, it's not always the idea to have, because it's not good in short. Sir, are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Okay, does the Bible frown against it? Yes. And I presume you are married. Yeah, I'm a married man. Okay. Did you have sex before you got married? No. Wow. How many years are you married now? 23 years in marriage. Wow, congratulations, sir. Yeah. And do you have any regrets as to not having sex before marriage? No, 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 no. Okay, so what would be your advice to the young boys and girls today that have sex before marriage? Uh, my advice to them is uh, they are not doing the will of God because God said don't have affair to one another before you get married. Thank you very much, sir.